China's leapfrogging abilities in terms of technology development are well documented. Now, scientists from China claim to have developed the world's fastest programmable quantum computers. Chinese scientists have created the world's first light-based quantum computer called Zhuzhang that can reliably demonstrate quantum computational advantage, a milestone in which a quantum machine can solve a problem no classical supercomputer can tackle within a reasonable amount of time. Hello everyone, welcome to World of China, a channel to explore China. In today's video, we're talking about China's breakthrough in quantum computing, which is 10 billion times faster. So stay tuned and give this video a big thumbs up. It is the second time that humanity has reached the milestone after Google declared its 53-qubit quantum computer had achieved such a breakthrough last year. However, Zhu Zhang used a new method of manipulating 76 photons to do calculations instead of Google's, which uses superconductive materials. Experts hailed the Chinese machine as a state-of-the-art experiment and a major achievement in quantum computing, as it proves the feasibility of photonic quantum computation, consequently providing a fundamentally different approach to designing such powerful machines. Chinese scientists claim to have built a quantum computer that can perform certain computations nearly 100 trillion times faster than the world's most advanced supercomputer, representing the first milestone in the country's efforts to develop the technology. The researchers have built a quantum computer prototype that can detect up to 76 photons through Gaussian Boson sampling, a standard simulation algorithm. That's exponentially faster than existing supercomputers. The series of quantum computers developed by Chinese scientists also include the Zhizhong 2, which can compute calculations at least 100 trillion times faster than Google Sycamore, the world's fastest existing supercomputer, scientists declared in a different study published in the Physical Review Letters on Monday. Quantum computers are super advanced machines that go beyond the binary codes of ones and zeros traditionally stored in conventional computers in the most basic unit of information called bits. These advanced computers operate to special properties of the universe's smallest particles. They may exist in multiple states, either as ones and zeros, akin to traditional computers or in any position between. Quantum particles are very flexible, known as qubits or quantum bits. These qubits can be performed by supercomputers simultaneously. Zhu Xiaogu takes its name from an ancient Chinese mathematical text. It can perform an extremely esoteric calculation called Gaussian Boson Sampling in 200 seconds. The same task would take the world's largest classical supercomputer, Fugaku, around 600 million years. According to Liu, the Zhizhuang machine can perform a task known as Boson Sampling that simulates the behavior of light particles when they pass through a maze of crystals and mirrors. It was initially proposed as a physical game without purpose, but some recent studies suggest Boson Sampling could have some applications in cryptography. A typical light-based computer is not programmable, but Zhu Zhang 2 has a more flexible design that allows it to perform more than one calculation task, according to Pan's team. Quantum machines can take computational shortcuts when simulating extremely complex scenarios, whereas conventional computers have to brute force their way to a solution, taking significantly more time in the process. Moreover, quantum machines' computing power can increase exponentially as more qubits are added. According to the university, Xu Zhang uses 76 photons as qubits, which is about 10 billion times faster than the 53 qubit computer developed by Google. The United States and China are constantly engaged in rivalry in a lot of aspects, the latest rivalry in the building of quantum computers. Now, the breakthrough represents a quantum computational advantage, also known as quantum supremacy, in which no traditional computer can perform the same task in a reasonable amount of time and is unlikely to be overturned by algorithmic or hardware improvements, according to the research. While still in its infancy, quantum computing is seen as the key to radically improving the processing speed and power of computers, enabling them to simulate large systems and drive advances in physics, chemistry, and other fields. Chinese researchers are competing against major U.S. corporations from Alphabet Inc.'s Google to Amazon.com's Inc. and Microsoft Core for a lead in the technology, which has become yet another front in the U.S.-China tech race. Google said last year it has built a computer that could perform computation in 200 seconds that would take the fastest supercomputers about 10,000 years, reaching quantum supremacy. The Chinese researchers claim their new prototype can process 10 billion times faster than Google's prototype. Xi Jinping's government is building a $10 billion National Laboratory for Quantum Information Sciences as part of a big push in the field. 
In the US, the Trump administration provided $1 billion in funding to research into artificial intelligence and quantum information earlier this year and has sought to take credit for Google's 2019 breakthrough. Chinese researchers have built two different systems to maximize the potential of quantum computing. One of the ways is light-based photonic quantum computers. The other way is through superconducting quantum computers that can only run efficiently at very low temperatures. In the former kind, light's energy units known as photons are twitched using mirrors, phase shifters, beam splitters. In the latter, qubit state is manipulated through an electronic magnetic field. Moreover, most components of the light-based quantum machine can operate at room temperature, aside from its sensory equipment which must be kept at negative 269.1 Celsius. Application range from predicting stock prices to calculating gene mutations, the formation of new materials, and air flows in hypersonic flight at Mach 5 or beyond. This makes it significantly easier to make and maintain than superconducting quantum computers, the bulk of which is kept in ultra-cold temperatures to ensure the materials can conduct electricity without any resistance. The machine circuits are kept at an extremely low temperature for it to perform a complex task known as a random walk, a model based on the movements of pieces on a chessboard. The model assumes that the movement of a chess piece can be completely random without any association with previous moves. In classical computers, the process is difficult to simulate because it requires a huge amount of calculation based on complex algorithms, but it becomes easy with the help of quantum physics. The Zhukongzhi 2 machine can in theory calculate that random walks on 66 chessboards simultaneously, a mission impossible for any computer today. Quantum computers excel at running simulations that are impossible for conventional computers, leading to breakthroughs in material science, artificial intelligence, and medicine. Yet, such supercomputers are not replacing traditional computers any soon. These computers perform specific complex calculations for shorter periods. Right now, the Chinese-made supercomputers are only available for hyper-specific computing tasks, and they can still make plenty of errors. Professor Pan, who is the research team leader, says that they will work on quantum error correction for the next four or five years. Professor Pan is from the University of Science and Technology of China, which is located in Hefei. The professor added that they could explore using some dedicated quantum simulators or quantum computers to solve several vital scientific questions with practical value. China often exaggerates its claims, but the two quantum computers received a review from Professor Barry C. Sanders, a University of Calgary Institute for Quantum Science and Technology. His comments were published by the Physical Review Letter. He said that the performance of the two quantum computers suggests that the end to the debate on the quantum primacy versus classical computers, a recent modification in government strategy, has seen increased investments in the computing sector and last month work started on the country's first industrial domain dedicated to quantum computing technology in Hefei. According to publicly available information, China's military is using quantum technology for ultra-secure communication lines, radar that can detect stealth aircraft, and navigation devices for nuclear submarines. But its application in civilian sectors remains limited. Some critics have said it could take years if not decades before quantum computers or communications generate a profit. Soon, scientists may increase Xu Zhang's possible output states, a key indicator of computing power, by 10 orders of magnitude from 10 to the 30th power to 10 to the 40th power, Lu said. China, which launched the world's first quantum satellite in 2016 and the largest land-based quantum communications network in 2019, now one or two steps ahead of the West in quantum computer technology. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, then give this video a big thumbs up and share it. For more exciting videos, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. I'll be back with another exciting video soon. Till then, check out our channel for more exciting videos and stay tuned.